This video is about virtual environments. Why and how to use them in Python development. As you probably know, Python Package Manager pip installs all packages globally. And we can see all installed packages and their versions with the pip freeze command. For example, I have here Django 3.1 installed. And now let's imagine that you found on GitHub an interesting project that you want to try. And so you have to clone the project and install its Python dependencies. And then it turns out that the project uses Django 1.11, but you have Django 3 installed. And what will you do with it? Maybe you want to uninstall your Django 3 and then install Django 1.11 instead. And then back again you have to uninstall Django 1.11 and then install Django 2 for another project, for example. And so on with uh, other libraries. And I think you've got the picture. And uh, the solution is to use virtual environments. A virtual environment is a conception that helps us to avoid versions conflicts. There are plenty of tools that we can use, but the common idea is to use local isolated Python installations. They are isolated from global Python installation. And uh, it resembles a thermos with a hot water. The water inside a thermos is isolated from the ambient, and the same we can do with Python. The most popular tools for creating virtual environments are built in Python vEnv, then virtual Env and pipenv. For example, to create a new virtual environment with built-in vEnv, we can use the following command. The first vEnv is the name of the command, and the second is the name of the folder of the virtual environment. And uh, the next step is to activate it. And uh, to activate my virtual environment, I have to use the source vnf ben activate command. And we can see that the virtual environment was activated. And now let's run the pip freeze command. And we can see that there is no packages. Okay, let's create a folder for our project. Then let's install the requests library, for example. And then let's run the pip freeze command again. And we can see a list with all installed into our virtual environment packages. Now let's save it to the requirements.txt file. Let's look at it and we can see the list with the dependencies of our project. Okay. And now let's delete the vnf directory and create a new virtual environment. And now I want to install the packages that are listed in the requirements.txt file. pip install dash r and the name of the file, requirements.txt. And let's check it again. We can see that everything listed in the requirements.txt file was installed. And you can think that it's a tedious work to create and activate virtual environments. I use aliases to create and activate virtual environments. VV, SV, and VVA. And to create an alias, you need to add uh, such lines to your Bosch RC file if you use a Linux or Mac. If you like the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.